Hold order, would you please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. May we have a roll call, please? Mr. Prince. Here. Mr. Corman. Here. Mr. Pavoni. Here. Ms. Perez. Here. Mr. McGurvin. Here. Ms. Witchie. Here. Mr. Person. Here. Roll call, Mr. Mayor. All present. Thank you, Megan. Uh, moving on to administrative report. Mr. Just Mr. Mayor, Council, uh, two quick items. As you are aware, the uh, solid waste utility is launching uh, in April, the month of April, to bring your own bag. Uh, campaign and efforts to reduce uh, plastic bag use and litter throughout the city. Public's in encouraged to uh, bring their own uh, bag whenever they can when shopping. They can also go to our website at rentonwa.gov. Uh, the title page, you can, uh, under the search uh, area, just type in plastic bag, all one word, and you can get more information on uh, completing a survey and, and more information that's available to you. Uh, that's again at our, the City of Renton website. Also want to let the public know and remind them that we are continuing our Coffee with the Cop event uh, this Thursday, the 19th, from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. at the Starbucks at 641 Rainier Avenue South. We'll have officers there. You're welcome to come on in. It's just an opportunity to get to speak with an officer about issues that you have, uh, ideas to try to break down barriers between police officers and the citizens by removing agendas and uh, allowing information and communication. Um, other than our continued efforts in a number of areas in the city to uh, repair and construct road, uh, we just encourage folks to uh, uh, always use caution when they're driving around construction areas. I think that is all, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Jay. Moving on to uh, audience comments, we have nobody signed up. And so moving on to the consent agenda, we have six items for council consideration. Are there any items a council member would like pulled for discussion? Uh, Mr. Mayor? Yes, Mr. Carmen. I'd like to remove item B and Delta. Okay. Any others? Mr. Mayor? Yes, Mr. Prince. I move that we approve the consent agenda minus item D. Second. Second. It's been moved by Mr. Prince, second by Mr. Carmen that uh, we approve the consent agenda minus item D. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Mr. Carmen. Yes, Mr. Mayor. Item D is um, is a award of a, a bid that um, time is really of the essence. Sorry, my, my mic is off. Um, it, it, item D is an award of a bid. Time's of the essence. Um, it's a project we've been working on for many, many years, and um, our transportation staff would like to see it go forward. And um, and I think it's a good idea to just um, just approve it tonight uh, on the floor instead of forwarding it on to transportation committee. Uh, so with that, I would uh, move approval of item D, uh, uh, whatever the correct nomenclature is, that uh, the council go ahead and approve item D instead of referring it. Second. Okay, it's been moved by Mr. Corman, seconded by Ms. Perez, that council approve uh, item D of the consent agenda. Any discussion? Questions? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Okay, moving on to uh, unfinished business. Uh, Mr. Prince. Yes, Mr. Mayor. The committee as a whole has a committee report. This committee report is regarding protections against source of income discrimination. The committee of the whole recommends concurrence with staff's recommendation that council amend Renton's existing source of income discrimination ordinance to eliminate con contradicting provisions and adopt the same protections as House Bill 2578 while retaining the city's options for, for enforcement, e.g. civil penalties, criminal persecution, prosecution. The committee further recommends that the ordinance regarding this matter be prepared for first reading. And this is signed by Council President Prince. Mr. Mayor? Yes, Mr. Prince. I move that the council concur with the committee to hold committee report. Second. It's been moved by Mr. Prince, second by Mr. Carmen, that council concur with the committee of the whole report. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. That's all, Mr. Mayor. Okay, thank you. Mr. Corman? Um, <clears throat> no unfinished business, Mr. Mayor. Okay. Mr. Pavoni? No unfinished business, Mr. Mayor. Okay. Ms. Perez? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. The Community Service Committee has one report to present. This committee report is regarding 2018 Neighborhood Project Grant Applications. The Community Services Committee recommends concurrence in the staff recommendation to approve funding for the selected 2018 Neighborhood 
project grantees in the total amount of $50,000. And this is signed by the committee chair and members. Mr. Mayor. Yes, Ms. Perez. I move that the council concur with the recommended action of the community service committee report. Second. Okay, it's been moved by Ms. Perez, second by Ms. Witchy, that council concur with the community services committee report. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Okay, uh, Mr. McIrvin. Uh, yes, Mr. Mayor, the Planning and Development Committee has one committee report. This committee report is regarding text amendment exemptions. The Planning and Development Committee recommends concurrence with the staff's recommendation that in order to most efficiently facilitate amendments to procedural or administrative text of Title IV, an ordinance be prepared to allow procedural or administrative text of Title IV, such as procedures, processes, or submittal requirements, e.g. what forms must be used, how applications must be processed, etc., and distinguished from substantive matters that relate to regulations which define or limit what can be done in terms of use, development, or action, e.g. what requirements apply to development, what permits are required, etc., to be amended through the existing administrative code interpretation process. And this is signed by the committee chair and members. Mr. Mayor. Yes, Mr. McIrvin. I move that the council concur <clears throat> with the Planning and Development Committee report. Second. It's been moved by Mr. McIrvin, second by Mr. Corman, that council concur with the Planning and Development Committee report. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? The ayes have it. Okay, Ms. Witchie. No unfinished business, Mr. Mayor. And Mr. Person. No unfinished business, Mr. Mayor. Okay, uh, moving on to new business. Um, Mr. Prince. Yes, Mr. Mayor. On um, Monday, April 23rd at uh, 6 p.m. in the council chambers, uh, the Committee of the Whole will meet. We have one item on the agenda. It is the legislative session wrap-up. And that is all, Mr. Mayor. Okay, thank you. Mr. Corman. And no new business, Mr. Mayor. Okay, Mr. Pavoni. Uh, yes, Mr. Mayor, I'd like to announce that the Public Safety Committee will be meeting on April 23rd at 5.30 in the Council Conference Room. We have two items on the agenda, uh, the PCERN Project Briefing and Emerging Issues in Public Safety. And then also, Mr. Mayor, I'd like to bring up uh, one topic really quickly. Last week, we approved a motion um, for an update to the com uh, Community Services Department requesting presentation on how things were changed in the past year and where each division is headed in the future. And I think that's actually a really good idea, but um, considering the amount of time that's gonna take in staff time and the amount of information that's gonna be there, I'd like to recommend that we move that to Committee of the Whole for Committee of the Whole presentation so we can all hear that information. So. I can. May, may I comment? Yes, uh, Ms. Perez. Oh, the reason why I decided to bring <clears throat> this to, to community, uh, community services is because we have not had presentations and information uh, from different topics that we need in community services. Um, I'm not requesting anything espe especially that is broad. I'm requesting it the specific projects that are working right now, so it's not extra work, because they're already working on those projects. So my first year as a community service chair, I had the opportunity to have these presentations bring to me every committee meeting, which has not been happening in the last three months, so except today, I have to say. So to make it more accurate, what I was requested to bring to the community services, I committees, that's the reason why I make this motion just because I want to see if we refer something to the committee to be brought with all the information that is requested. Not that it's like, you know, uh, something that is that broad that, that has to go to come to community of the whole, community, com committee of the whole, just because that's the reason why we have committees. <clears throat> but that's not what the motion was for. I'm sorry, I don't have a cop copy of the motion um, from... Uh, yeah, your motion yeah. was requesting that, they, that these items come to Committee of the Whole instead of going to Community Service Committee. No, no, I, I, I realize that one. I was talking about last week's in terms of the depth of uh, information. Yeah, that'd be yeah. great. Okay, so the motion made last week under new business, and this is on the minutes that were just approved via the um, item A under Council Concur, is moved by Perez, seconded by Person. Council refers separate ongoing updates of each division of the Community Services Department that include presentations regarding how things have changed in the past year and where each division is headed in the future to the Community Services Committee. And I'm more than happy to clarify if it's not clear what it says. 
is current things that are happening in each division. For example, today we have the 2018 neighborhood programs. They presented statistics that have, have been working in 2017, and what are the projections for 2018? We have had a lot of changes in community services, and a lot of staff have changed. Mm -hmm. So things are evolving as well as our community. That's the reason why I make this request. I, I guess okay. one of the questions I would have, you know, I guess to be proper, I should say that mm -hmm. uh, Councilman Pavoni made a motion and um, I seconded. And yeah. Councilman Corman seconded that uh, this topic be referred in, uh, over to Committee of the Whole. So that's what we're discussing yeah. right now. Yeah. Um, my question would be uh, would the full council be interested in hearing about the neighborhood updates they, as, as well as you? And at that point, I, I know that the presentation <laughs> is going to be forward to all the council members. And if they, uh, uh, and I, I guess if they want to hear more details, they can bring it. But again, my question to all of you it will be is this is the system that we have. We have committees of different departments. If not everything could be bring to committee of the whole, I can request the same for planning that I sometimes I have a lot of questions about it that I want to hear. So if the system is not working, let's bring absolutely every committee to the committee of the whole. Uh, Mr. Mayor. Well, yeah. Ahead, okay, though. Mr. Corman. Oh, uh, um, my my thought is, um, I, if if I understood, I, and I haven't talked to Mr. Pavoni about this, but if I understood his point, it was if the staff go to a lot of work preparing a lot of detailed presentations, um, you know, I guess I'd, I'd support that we give them the courtesy of giving them the opportunity to present it to all of us. On the other hand, if that just increases the burden, if in fact, um, if, if maybe what Ms. Perez is asking for is a little bit less formal, um, uh, you know, a chat with some of the staff about some of the things, then, then I don't want to inadvertently actually make this a much harder assignment by requiring formal presentations to the council. So as the person who seconded, I'm very much on the fence, uh, depending on what the intent, you know, the intent really is here, I, I could go either way on this. And Mr. Mayor, and the reason for it is just by the um, kind of the verbiage of the motion, I thought it was, it sounded to me like um, a briefing uh, from the committee of where we were the last year and where things were headed. That sounds a lot like uh, the kind of information we would get in a, a council retreat. And it, and it seems like that's a lot of work to go through for uh, just a committee meeting. So, so based on um, uh, Council Member yeah. Perez's clarification, um, do you think that still it makes sense that well, it's staying? In, and and in I can give an example. For example, they, they chose today a presentation <clears throat> that they actually already have had for the neighborhoods. So they didn't have to go through this presentation and prepare it specifically for the committee. They had it already and they presented to us. We didn't have a chance to go to the program with the neighborhoods. So they chose that 76 uh, grants were, up, were given in, the, in 2017. So that is a, just a reference yeah. of how many grants are going to be given in 2018. And we went into the full discussion of it. For me, it's important to have a reference to be able to compare if we are advancing or evolving or how effective are some of the programs especially when we're in a budget year and you want to know uh, if the work programs are working or not. How can I compare and how can I have an evaluation without having the facts? Yeah. And, and, you know, given that information, if it's just briefings on things that are coming up, that's different than if, uh, if it's a presentation uh, from the staff on the future of all the projects in the committee. You know, I mean, updates on ongoing um, action items aren't as important if they're going to be putting together a whole presentation um, that's something that I think that should go to the full council. So we can we can handle so, those one on one. Yeah, we can so, handle those yeah. one on one. I'm fine with that. Yeah. And 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 to be more clear, what I don't want is that if I refer something to committee that that for someone to come and stuff and just say, "Oh, we're doing great." And the program is doing great. That is not giving me any information. That's the reason why I wanted to be a little more specific that if we're referring something to committee, we want a little bit more of detail than saying, oh, we're doing great or this program is working great. How, based on what? Mm -hmm. Well, and I guess, uh, first of all, uh, just so we clear it up, would you like to withdraw your motion? Yeah, based on that information, I, the motion was just a little bit vague and it's clarified now. I'm okay. fine with it. So. I withdraw my second. Yeah. Okay, so. Um, the thing that I would say administratively that for any committee, if um, you have a request for staff to develop information and we have a sense that 
it would be of interest to all the council members, then right. we will bring it up and suggest that that be referred to Committee of the Whole. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Major. Okay. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, Ms. Perez for new business. No new business, Mr. No new business, Mr. Mayor. Thank okay, you. Mr. McIrvin. Uh, no new business, Mr. Mayor. Okay, Ms. Witchy. No new business, Mr. Mayor. Uh, well, I'm not going to ask Mr. Person. Who <laughs> oh God! <laughs> I just looked at. Can I leave early? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, Mr. Mayor. The Finance Committee will meet uh, next Monday at 4 p.m. in the Council Conference Room. Seven topics. Department of Ecology grant for Shoreline Master's Pro Shoreline Master Program, SNAP Benefits Agreement, Sunset Multi Service and Career Development Center, Senior Finance Analyst, an analyst Higher at Step D, 2018 Carry Forward First Quarter Budget Amendment, uh, six vouchers, and seven, if we have time, emerging issues and revenue streams. Okay. And Mr. Mayor? Yes, sir. Just as a side note, I was very happy to get the real estate excise tax uh, report today. And one sale brought us $127,000. Those, those are nice. Those, those are, are nice. Very nice. That's what this is all about. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, thank you, Mr. Person. Uh, what's the wish of the council? Move we adjourn. Second. It's been moved by Mr. Prince, second by Mr. Corman that we adjourn. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it.